All right, welcome back. Let's uh, continue on with that insurance policy and see if we can't save it and go ahead and place it within our PowerPoint project that we've been working on for our automobile. So the first step is to make sure we have it saved. There we go, it's saved. And now what I want to do is bring up my PowerPoint presentation and take a look at how we can insert that within this particular slide. So once again, most of this is what we've had created. Here's uh, Lacey Patterson's car. All that different information and we get down to insurance. So let's go ahead and create an insurance slide and see if we can't put in that worksheet. So once again we've got some familiar looking tabs up here. So to insert we want to click look at that insert that makes it easy. Lots of different options. For this one navigate over to object and the insert object window comes up. A couple of choices create new create from file. Uh, because we've already created it, we're going to click on Create from File. And then what we, we will have to do is click Browse and go to the location where we have saved our insurance worksheet. So for me, I've got some navigation to do here. And the current year, i got my classes. Put it from this one here. Auto Insurance. There it is. Teenage insurance policy. Click OK. Let's see what happens. OK. Puts in the location. Navigation. Click OK. Ah, there it is. Now notice it's an object and I can move it around. And I can see here it does not show everything that I would like to have. And so right now it's an object, but if I double click within the worksheet. It gives me access to some Excel functions. And then I can stretch this out and see if there's more to reveal. There it is. A little more. Come on. There we go. Premium. That's what I want. And then it looks like I need to expand some more rows. A few more. Oops. Double click back in there. Just went off the screen there. Total discounts. Total premium. And then I'm going to click outside of it so that it's an object again. And grab the border and move it. And then also notice that I can resize by grabbing one of these handles in the top here. And resize that object to where I would like that to be. So there's my total six month premium. Got it right here in the center. And that looks not quite in the center. Let's see if I can put it over here a little bit. There. So there you go. So we have an Excel worksheet within PowerPoint. Now, I might want to add a little piece of information here. We finished that off by calculating the six month premium. Maybe I want to know the monthly premium and show that just for some additional interest here on my presentation. So, what I'm going to do then is double click in here and get another row available to me there and so if I wanted to show the monthly premium this is for six months well maybe I want to know how much it's going to be for one month so make a new category here called monthly premium and right align that and then I'm going to come right over here. I'll make that just a little wider. There we go. Let's do that. Equal sign. Take that six month premium and divide it by six. And there's the monthly premium. And then I think I'll go ahead and because I want to highlight that piece of information, I might make that bold. Make that price bold and maybe even add some some color to it here. Let's see. Now 
And maybe even change the size. Let's make it a little bigger. There we go. Make that a 14. Anyway, you can have fun with that. And then I click out of it. And once again, it's an object. Now I can center that again. I see that I've got this column that I really don't want, so I'm going to double click and reduce the amount of visible Excel worksheet area and see how that looks. I'd probably go back in, do a little bit more with that color, but you get the idea. So practice with that a little bit. And then, of course, you could go in and put some other kind of a title on here if you wanted to. But there you go. There is inserting an Excel worksheet and even making a few changes within PowerPoint.